This is a demonstration of how to download the software needed for the 08348 language and compilers module assessed coursework. So this is done on a computer that doesn't have any of the software installed and we're going to start with one of the help texts that's been written which is available on the web pages through SharePoint for the module that says how to install MinGW which is minimal GNU for Windows and this will give us GCC compiler, Flex and Bison so we don't have to have Visual Studio, we don't have to have Unix, we don't have to have Linux it just gives us the basic thing. So the first thing it says on the instructions it is go to MinGW.org to get the installer so we can click on that and this is the home of MinGW so then we've got to find the basic stuff to download so it's here download the installer and all elsewhere on the web page is instructions and documentation so we click on download the installer and that takes us to SourceForge where actually it really lives so now we're on the correct page and one thing to point out, you've got lots of download buttons, but don't be misled, this download is for the advert of Go Parallel, this download is for the advert for this one, what you want is this download for the SourceForge installer. So this is a reminder how easy it is to get malware on your computer by not reading the screen and pressing the wrong download button buried on freeware pages. Okay, now we've got it downloaded twice because I was impatient. Hopefully we can open one. Then we've downloaded and started installing. And now we're running the program that we download, which is the installation manager, so if you click there there's a few options, you can install it from current users or new users. that we want to install and notice we can actually install the AIDA compiler we can store things for the Fortran compiler we can install the Fortran manual and all these might be useful for the taught part of the languages and compilers module. And uh, we get C as well. And we can get Objective C for compiling for Apple devices, or iPhones, and so on. selecting all packages and so it's going to install the extra packages from the GW side. Now we're going to install the packages for Flex and Bison which we download using the links on the uh, page here. So we click on Flex, go to the page for Flex, click Download Complete Package. It's on SourceForge. Once it's downloaded, we can open it. Remember at this point 
it said in the instructions there must not be a space in the install path so you have to put it something like that with no spaces in it then you can install everything Sources and install. And it's done. Then we can come back and install Bison. Download the complete packages. And remember to remove the space. You will file the directory name before you install, install everything. So now we can go back to there. So then you need of this flex library. Now some people forget that step because it's not done automatically and we're back within this Unix utils package that we could have got if we got the whole thing. We could just look at the files download the latest version of Unix utils So here is the lib FL file. Right. So it says copy that. As it said in these instructions, and we copy it to min w. zip file just containing the program which we have to manually copy to a folder we create in the appropriate directory like program files it doesn't come with an installer if you know Windows well you know how to do this but I'll quickly show you so I create a folder and in the right place and then paste them into that folder like so copy from here the zip file just paste them in the new folder that I've made called Redman Path in program files and then what I'll need to do is if I want to execute them from the start button is I'm going to have to put something on the start menu which I'm just going to do shortly Start menu button. I'll just like 
pattern on a folder in the tree. Just go to Programs, and then I can make a new folder under Programs called Redmond Path. A new folder. that Redmond path and then I can go into that folder and insert two shortcuts to the documents that I just placed in program files. I'm doing it in a sort of long-winded way so you can see just copy the location of the folder they are paste it in there select the program Give it the name. And I can then do the same and make a new shortcut for documentation. Done. So I can now go to the start button and under programs I've got a folder called Web and Path and I can just go on the program and then the program execute. Oh, for us the documentation. I can execute the program and uh, we can start adding a path. A directory to add to the search path. compilers module uh, you've got it running on your computer and you should be ready to start doing the lab and coursework I hope you found that useful <laughs>